Hey guys. Okay, this one we're gonna turn into an alien. I did some of the work here. To, uh, I'm on like the third step, so I'm gonna go back. Uh, so I'm gonna open up the file that that I downloaded called model. There it is. I don't need this background layer. I'll just trash it. I'm going to select the guy with the quick selection tool as I can. I'll choose a new selection from the options panel up here on the top. Just run them. I don't, whoops. Oh, it's got to be in the right layer. I just thought, didn't I just throw that away? Throw, throw yourself away already. Um, sometimes I, you know, I just don't let the mouse linger long enough or something. The computer can't read my mind, can it? Um, wish it could. And then I'm going to take away things that I didn't want to select. Looks like I'm pretty good. I'll know in a second when I apply a mask. I'm going to put a mask here. Okay, looks all right. Can't really tell though, like because of the checkerboard doesn't have enough contrast. I'm going to just fill that with a color just to see. I'm going to choose red right here. I'm going to choose edit back. Uh, Shift backspace or edit fill. Foreground color. It's not bad. I missed a spot as I suspected. Uh, there's a couple spots, so I'll get them real quick. So I'll go back to the image, and this time I'll use a regular magic wand. I'm going to select this contiguous only meaning it won't select anything else white and this. All right, there we go. I'll just use a paintbrush. Now, I selected it from the image, but I'll go to the mask now with a black paintbrush. And since I made a selection, it'll only paint there, right? Okay, that's pretty good. I can live with that. Now, I can just go into the mask if I do and uh, see how I double-clicked it, and I can smooth it. It'll automatically do and then feather a tiny bit. Don't go overboard with the feather. I can even shift the edge of my selection inward by putting a negative setting. I'll go like negative 10 or something. It's fine. But uh, I want you to know about this. You don't have to do a perfect edge with a brush when you're making a mask because there's an auto setting. Okay, and then I have it set to export to a new layer with a new mask when I, when I do that. Okay, just an aside, and then the beauty of the mask again is that it's non destructive. So, here where something happened with the ear, I'm just shrinking my brush down and uh, I'll try to paint it back in. Oh, no, that's his actual ear. Okay, or the photo is bad. I had to find this photo, it, there wasn't a, a better one. Whoop, um, in the mask, sir. Go back. mask. Get out of myself a lot. Oh, there is, there is something there. I was just putting paint on, actually. Take that back. So I just reveal some of that, and then I can see where the ear really is, and I'll paint it in. Take your time. I try to go fast because I don't want to make the video be too long. But I know you'll have to practice and try and redo things. It's all good. Took me a long time to learn. When I was first starting out, I was lost. Teachers didn't do anything to help me. <laughs> okay, so uh, here we go. That's good enough. All right, I want you to create a new layer, and on this layer behind, I want to put a like a gray to black gradient. So double click your background color, choose like a 50% gray. You see in the color picker. The farther you are to the left, the less saturated the color is. And as you move to the right, you get more rich, but it's all, it's also like a 50% value here. This is full chroma up in the upper right-hand corner, red, and red plus full black. And then this is no red and all black, and this is all white, no red. And as I move this way, I get more color. Got it? Okay. I'm just going with half gray, no color. And, and now I can use a gradient tool, 
over this. Just go womp. Okay, there it is. It kind of looks right for what I want to do. All right. So now that I have this mask as I want it, I'm just going to apply it. Apply layer mask. All right. And there's something we've never done before. On this, in the layer panel here, there's this little box. And you're like, have you ever seen it? You're like, what's that? What's that box for? It's, it's to lock transparent pixels, meaning nothing can be affected in this layer ex where there is nothing. See, it was like all around this guy, um, there's blank pixels, as we see. If I hit this, that'll like block out everything that's not got pixels in it. So like I can't accidentally paint out there, okay? It's like a clipping mask that's, a, that's like alive, if you know what I mean. You may not, but just know that now you don't have to be worried about putting anything out here in these blank areas, okay? All right, great. So I want to get rid of his hair. So I'm going to use the clone stamp to do this. And I might shave some of the top of his, his dome off right there. I'm going to use the clone stamp. This looks like this. It looks like a stamp, like a rubber stamp. Grow the brush a little bit. And I am going to sample here. I'm pressing Alt. I'm just going to start painting. I'm, I'm choosing where I'm getting the pixels from according to where I am on his head. So like I'm trying to match them up. Like see there's a highlight here. So I'll get from there. This is pretty fun. But he's going to become an alien. So of course he doesn't have hair. I've already just, I just made his hairline go way up. Keep doing that. But you'll see like when I go over the edge, I can't do anything out here, which is just terrific. It's just like you don't have to paint inside the lines anymore. I remember when you were uh, in your coloring books as a kid, you had to stay inside the lines. This doesn't let you go outside the lines. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Make life easier, right? Work smarter, not harder. So there we go. Gave him a uh, skinhead wig. I'll fake that in a little bit better as I go. I don't, I don't really care for that super highlight, but um, it's working well. Okay. Just blend, blending that in a little bit. I'm going to go from the clone brush to the healing brush. It looks like a Band-Aid. Okay. And I want to take out the eyebrows. So we're learning these brush, these brush tools. If I choose up here in the options bar normal, it'll like try to automatically blend in with the pixels around it. So I have to hit Alt again to sample, and I'm just stealing pixels from nearby. But see, it's trying to blend in with them. It's, not, it's doing okay. But you can, uh, he's looking crazy now, all right? That's all right. Um, you can choose replace, and it'll just take away what's there and put the new ones down without trying to blend in. So see, like, it looks a little fake though. But do that for, for the first pass if it's giving you fits with that, with that. Uh, see, that's that's pretty good. But then I'll go back to the normal and then I'll blend it in on top of that. It's like, it's doing its job when it's trying to blend in with the colors around it. But sometimes if you get a dark, it messes everything up. So right here, I'll get rid of that hard edge by using it. See, that's good. Okay, good enough. Uh, I got a little bit of hair on the sides. I got to get rid of. See what I'm talking about? I'll use the clone stamp again. It's pretty good. A little bit of that dark's okay. Like, I don't know. Um, I try to pick, pick some stuff that will be fun for us to learn how to use Photoshop. You can apply these skills to a lot of different jobs, you know, and it's and you'll be surprised how much you use and know uh, you, you use it and you know take what you know and, and apply it to something new. So I'm going to take now the next 
I'm going to take the, the head, just the head, loop it from this layer. I'm going to copy it. I want to make his head a little bit bigger. Copy and paste. And I think I'm going to grow the size of the canvas. So I have some more copper. I'm going to just choose the crop tool right there. The crop tool isn't just for making smaller. It's also for making bigger. Uh, set the background to black. See if that helps. Still nothing. Okay. Turn. I can just redo that gradient in the background since I had to grow it. I'll cut it down again later. See if backwards. All right, I'll, I'll shorten it later. I like to have a little bit of space up there. <clears throat> so I have this other head. I just wanted to make the head a little bigger. So you know how aliens have a great big head. I'm going to just hold shift. I can hit alt if I wanted to expand from the center. That's, use your own judgment here. It's pretty good. The neck's blending in okay, but I'm going to use a mask. Just a mask with a soft brush. You, you should know. I don't have to go and tell you what a mask is anymore. You know, you, by now you know. And I'll mask out carefully the extra neck there. So I'm back if I have to. Your time. If I go if I go fast, um, you know, it's because I'm just trying to teach you. If you, if you want a nice result, take a little more time. Um, so now I want to make his skin look like very dull, not 100% dull. So we'll do again what we did last time, and we'll go to layer adjustment, um, adjustment layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation. I don't care what it's called. I only have one, so I don't really have to name it. And I'm going to put that, see, like, that affects everything below it. It's like a screen that, you know, so all of these layers are going to lose saturation. You can't tell in the black, and, you know, and gray because there is no color there. But, like, make, I don't want them, like, you know what I mean? I want them to just be, like, kind of barely pinkish, you know, kind of. That's pretty good. <laughs> that already looks pretty good. All right. So now this will be fun for you. Let's go in on this head. And uh, paint the eyes black, completely black. And leave that little highlight. I will take a brush, I'm hitting B, and I'm just going to sample the exact color of his eyes are already. And then in this layer right here, just the head, not the mask, I'm going to paint this in. This reminds me of the, that old show, The X Files. It's a very good show. We get a chance. I'm looking for something to watch. Great show. I don't know how well it holds up these days, but you know what I mean? Modern times. But uh, uh, I believe the quality is, be is better than television. Okay. Yeah, that's working. Um, so now I want to like use the liquify tool. I'm going to apply this. See. I'm going to go to filter, liquify. It's coming. It'll take a, a minute. You can look at that layer. I'm just, just on the head only. I'll zoom in a little bit. Plus, plus, plus this. And uh, it's going to recognize parts of the, you know, the face is eyes. It's, it's pretty smart. But I'm opening these up a little bit. I can turn. I want to turn. Just keep it straight. Um, I want to move to this uh, forward warp tool. And I want to make the eyes about, I mean, the brush about as big as the eyes are. I want to warp his, his cheeks in a little bit. I want to change. I don't want to change the shape of. I'm hitting Control Z. I don't want to change the shape of his face necessarily. 
you know, but uh, I'm going to just do some distortion. Not too much. Let's try to make it a little bit wider. You may have, I would say, try this a couple of times, redo it a couple of times. I don't know if I want to, maybe I will, I'm going to push these out. He's looking, he's looking a little more alien. See, I'm just doing it subtly. I didn't even change the value over here. Um, let's see. Yeah, just keep the pressure at 100%. That's actually pretty good. I don't like the what's happening with this part of his mouth. So I may redo. Push these out a little further. Not the whole thing. Maybe push this down. Just remember, I was I didn't like that point. This is a cone head. I'll probably be better off mask, just masking that off or something. That's okay. That's good. All right. Yeah. See what he, it looks like. He's like smirking or something like that. I'm gonna go on with it just for the sake of of uh, being done. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna do a little bit of shading now. Um, with the burn tool we tried it last time i'm going to set it to mid tones uh, i'm going to turn the airbrush on this time let's, let's set i got an, i got a soft airbrush going so i want to burn in like where i feel like it should be like accentuating some see like this i put a little bit underneath the eyes maybe a little bit on the sides here I could burn these these highlights down if they're bothering me so much. I see what that looks like. Set, set it to highlights, and this will yeah see. But it's, I kind of feel like that looks somewhat fake. I guess it works with the uh, black background. I just don't want it so shiny. So see how that darkens the whites, but it still looks like you're just kind of like painting some black over it. I really don't care for that too much. I'm in the wrong layer. <coughs> Okay, I'll probably end up making these eyes a lot bigger, maybe like distorting this even further, but I'm going to do a little more burning and uh, maybe like right here. Set this to mids. I don't like that black mark. I'm just going to hit control Z. Right, let's see that one away. Mid tones, see what that does. Yeah, that's better. Every little setting matters, right? All right, so finally, I'm going to put this texture over it. It looks kind of crazy. Um, I think I can merge. Okay, uh, let me go back. I just want to merge top three. All right, keep the background independent. I'll, I'll just lock that now. Right. In this one, I'm going to take this um, other file in the alien folder. I'm going to choose to place embedded, file place embedded, alien skin. And this is just like a textury sand rocky stuff or something like that. I'm going to, I'm going to copy it a couple of times just so I have a couple of them. Uh, you get this little smart object icon just because we placed it. Even though I've embedded it, it's going to change if I change the original file. So I just choose rasterize layer. That will just make it into pixels and it will unlink it from the, from the file. I'll do one of these at a time. Let's see, get rid of this one. Control T. To rotate I'm gonna just get let me get a little texture on the face I'm gonna change the blending mode probably like overlay or multiply let's see what overlay looks like it's too much work with the opacity yeah that, that texture is working pretty good um I'm gonna use a I'm gonna create a clipping mask though create clipping mask See, that cuts everything off around the outside. Now I'll use a mask 
I'm going to let you go here because I think you get it now. Uh, I'll use a soft brush mask and like I won't let the texture be everywhere. So here I'll use the brush and I'll just kind of like, oh, that's too hard. Lower the opacity on the brush so I can do something subtle and I'll just take some of the texture out. It's like it's not going to just be when you see something, the texture is going to be like more visible, uh, you know, maybe where the sh shadows are. Because, like, the I'm going to do this uh, because the light will wash it out. I want to take another piece for each part so I don't get this other line. I'm going to just keep copying that. I definitely don't want it on the tank top. But uh, that's how we do the alien. I could, you could make them green if you want. Or gray. One of the grays. And let me know if you've ever been abducted, okay? And tell me what the alien really looks like. We'll be doing this in class, so um, this is for you in case you need to go back and I can't help you. That's pretty good, uh, pretty good turning a guy into an alien, but I'm going to try to make him green and stuff, but I won't let you go because it's a little over 20 minutes already. All right, have fun.